Hello again guys and welcome to another video. Today we're doing another true size of video and this time we're doing US states. Now most of these actually look bigger but I'm going to be putting them on top of Europe, on top of Africa, on top of Asia and showing you what the true size of these US states is. So we're going to be starting off with the largest aka Alaska. So if we go ahead, select out to Alaska and we can start moving it around so first things first let's put it over europe and we can already see that alaska is massive if you put it even like over russia i mean over russia it doesn't look too big it's honestly about the size of iran about i'd say yeah if you put it on the Balkans, yeah, it's bigger than the Balkans and Italy combined, probably. Yeah, Alaska's pretty huge. Wow. Honestly, even I'm surprised about that. If you put it up over Greenland, it's almost as big alone. And if you put it over the contiguous, like, 48 states, uh, it's like, I'm pretty sure it's like a fifth of the country, Alaska just alone consists makes up a fifth of the land area so yeah alaska's like absolutely massive now let's go with the smallest road island i said road island this smallest of the u.s states let's go ahead and take it over europe it's about the size of luxembourg it's, yeah, it's tiny. And then, here, let's grab Alaska again. We can go ahead. That is the smallest U.S. state, and this is the biggest. If you put them on top of each other, quite a bit of difference, huh? Here, it's 1.7 kilometers, and here, it's 4,000. Yeah, it's pretty large. Now, it's actually, uh, Texas. Texas is pretty large, actually. If you put it up here over Europe, it's a tiny bit bigger than France. It can cover the entirety of Germany with ease. It can cover the entire British Isles, including the UK and Ireland. Or if you'd like some, like, Asian comparison. It's about as big as what, like... I mean, if you put it over the Korean Peninsula, it can cover the entire thing. And if you put it down here in, like, Thailand, a majority of the mainland can fit inside. Texas is about as big, I'm guessing. It can cover the entirety of Bangladesh. For some African comparison, if you want that. Um, here, let's put it over South Africa. It's over half of the entire country. And if we put it over South America, just a tiny bit smaller than Bolivia. A, ba a tiny bit smaller than Venezuela. It's bigger than Ecuador, I can tell you I can tell you that. And if you put it over here, the bottom of Argentina, I mean Texas is pretty large, but US states in general, not exactly the largest. If we take the entirety of the U United States of America. The contiguous forty eight, yeah. And we place that on top of Europe. And we can see that the U.S. is pretty big. It's a, if you count in Alaska here, let me grab it. I'm not going to bother grabbing Hawaii because it's not going to do anything. But if we grab Alaska, it can cover a majority of Europe. Yeah, the USA can cover a majority of Europe, which is a continent. That is how large the country is. And then, of course, the largest state, Alaska, can take a majority, like, can cover like france and germany or spain portugal all of iberia the british isles the usa i don't even know what to think about it is it overrated or underrated when it comes to size depends on the state i guess let's grab i don't know some random country let's grab michigan here michigan about the size of what hungary slovakia and czechia is it about as big as belarus yeah i'd say about as big as Belarus. Although that one doesn't really work because of this issue with the northern peninsula and all of that. So let's grab a different country. Let's let's grab California. 
If you didn't know, there are about the same amount of people in California that live in Canada. Uh, one of those is bigger than the other, to say the least. And if we go ahead and grab a place like Nunavut, a mass... Oh, uh, can you not? No, okay, you can't grab Canadian provinces, only U.S. states. Okay, but still, California has like what almost 40 million people in it not entirely 40 million but almost 40 million people in it it's comparable to the country of iraq that's pretty large considering that iraq has way less people although then again germany has about twice as much population and is probably smaller if i had to guess if not about the same size with twice as much population. So I don't really know if to say. If you compare it to Canada. Then there are a ton of people living in California. If you compare it to places like Germany or the UK. Not as much. Not nearly as much. But those are just a few. If you'd like to see a part two of me. Just taking a look at these US states. Please like, subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.